Tensions between Beijing and Washington are on the rise again. This time, it's over a diplomatic visit to Taiwan. China has accused the United States of encouraging independence forces on the island, and they're demanding an end to all official interaction. Now, the warning comes as a top American diplomat arrived in Taipei. Keith Clark from the State Department is due to attend a memorial service for former President Li Tenghui. He will also meet President Tsai Ing-wen. It's the second time in recent weeks that a high-ranking U.S. official has visited the island. Now, just last month, it was a trip by Health Secretary Alex Azar that attracted attention. As Olivia Xiong reports, China says that it will make a necessary response. The visit by U.S. Undersecretary for Economic Affairs Keith Kraut to Taiwan has stoked ongoing tensions between China and the U.S. Beijing has long viewed the self-ruled island of Taiwan as a renegade province which it will bring under control by force if necessary. So any official exchanges are typically met with opposition. On Thursday, China's foreign ministry called on the U.S. to recognize the sensitivity of the Taiwan issue, as well as to deal properly and cautiously with issues related to the island. Chung Mr. Kronk is the second high-ranking U.S. official to visit Taiwan over the last two months, following U.S. Health Secretary Alex Azar's trip in August. He is set to attend a memorial service for the late former President Li Tenghui, who is known as the father of Taiwan's democracy, as well as meet Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen. Reports suggest trade talks may also take place as the island seeks a free trade deal with the U.S. Mainland media, though, have slammed the visit as an attempt to upgrade official U.S.-Taiwan ties. This also comes as U.S. President Donald Trump has stepped up pressure on Beijing ahead of the November elections. Beijing, on its part, has been angered as ties between Taiwan and the U.S. have warmed. Reuters recently reported that Washington plans to sell several major weapon systems to Taiwan, and Taiwan last month eased restrictions on U.S. pork and beef imports. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing. Simon Marks joins us live from Washington now. Simon, the Trump administration is inched closer to Taipei than probably any other U.S. administration. Why make this trip now at a time when U.S.-China tensions are already on the rise? Well, I think very clearly, Dawn, because they want to send a message that they will not be constrained by Beijing in developing uh, a relationship with Taipei. And at this point, it may be that they're moving more rapidly than simply inching closer. These are some fairly major moves that the Trump administration has taken uh, in the course of the last few weeks, coming at a time when they are uh, trying to keep pressure on Beijing in a whole variety of different ways and coming after Secretary of State. State Mike Pompeo and other leading figures within the Trump administration have said that the page has turned on the relationship with China, that this is now uh, a new day. The United States no longer assuming uh, that engagement with China can necessarily lead to a more responsible China uh, on the world stage. So this is an increasingly pugnacious uh, demonstration of foreign policy independence by the United States. Uh, as Olivia was saying in her report, you know, with the election coming up, uh, the Trump administration is eager uh, to talk about China, to blame China for COVID-19. Uh, President Trump was saying uh, just uh, last night here uh, that as far as he could see it, the World Trade Organization was an uh, institution that was determined to suck American jobs out of the country and deliver them into the hands of China. Uh, and this is uh, an opportunity that the Trump administration is taking to deepen ties with Taiwan, 
knowing that that is going to anger the Chinese, but knowing also that it's going to create a new reality here in Washington. Whoever is president next January after this November's presidential election, the Trump administration is trying to create a fait accompli in which uh, the relationship with China and the relationship with Taiwan is on the road to substantive change. Yeah, well, something else that will anger China, Simon, amidst this backdrop, there are also reports that the U.S. is ramping up arms sales to Taiwan. Yeah, no question that that is going to rub salt into Chinese wounds on this particular issue. The news agency Reuters, uh, in an exclusive story this week, reported that the United States is planning to sell seven major weapon systems to the Taiwanese, including mines, cruise missiles and drones. Uh, and the U.S. administration believes that this is going to help uh, not just make money for America's defense industry, which, of course, Donald Trump heavily favors, but also redress the balance of power uh, in the Taiwan Straits. They are reportedly preparing to submit plans for those sales to Congress within the next few weeks, possibly before uh, the presidential election here on November the 3rd. It is obviously going to be hugely controversial in terms of the relationship uh, between the United States and Beijing, and it will be interesting to see what the attitudes of various parties in the United States Congress will be to all of this, but it is absolutely, again, part and parcel of the Trump administration moving the ball down the road and trying to create new facts on the ground that subsequent American presidents, whenever they come into office, uh, then find themselves having to accept and deal with. All right, thanks for that update. Simon Mark, speaking to us from the U.S. Capitol, Washington, D.C.